Are you a gamer that's thinking of streaming or are you a streamer that's already been streaming and are thinking about how to upgrade your setup? In today's video, I tell you about the essential gear that each streamer needs as well as how to manage your upgrade path para ma maximize ang inyong budget. Let's get started. By the way, if you're new here, my name is Norkla. I'm a streamer and a content creator. I stream on facebook.gg slash Gaming. And if you haven't followed me yet, please follow that link down below. I stream every Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. And I play a lot of Minecraft, Valorant, GTA, horror games, or anything that the community wants me to play. And if you have any questions or you want to hang out and interact with me, that's the best place to find me. By the way, help me also get to 100 subscribers by following this channel and hitting the notification bell so that I can create a custom URL. Let's get back to the video. When we're talking about investing in gear, there are two principles that we need to remember. The first principle is that it takes money to become a serious streamer. Uulitin ko, it takes money to become a serious streamer. Real talk na lang guys, hindi ko sasabihin na magiging malaki kayong streamer na tulad ni Doggy, ang gamit nyo lang ay phone. Hindi yan totoo. Guys, kailangan nyo talaga ng proper gear and invest in the production quality, especially as your audience grows. Mas magiging importante pa to when you want to monetize. Kung ang pangit ng camera nyo, sobrang dilim, di ba? Or yung microphone nyo, sobrang garbled or mastate. Or nagda-drop yung frames ng stream nyo. Sa tingin nyo ba, si na Predator, si Asus, MSI, gusto nilang ma-associate sa stream nyo? Hindi, di ba? Kailangan talaga mag-invest sa production value. Hindi ko naman din sinasabi na kailangan mamahalin yung gamit nyo. Ang example natin dito si Chooks, di ba? Ang laki-laki ng fanbase niya. Ang daming nanonood sa kanya, thousands every stream. Pero pag tinignan mo yung setup niya, dun sa vlog niya, um, kumpleto siya, di ba? Meron siya dalawang monitors, dalawang ilaw, may green screen, may Logitech na camera, may cellphone para tingnan yung chat, etc. etc. ba? Simple naman. Hindi naman super mahal yung setup ni Chooks. Pero, kumpleto to at maayos. Kailangan talaga mag-invest in terms of production quality. The second principle is that you have to invest in the viewer experience and not your gaming experience. Usually kasi, pag nag-invest ka directly on your gaming experience, wala tong impact sa viewer experience. So, eto, upgrade Upgrade ka ng GPU, di ba? Para maka 165Hz ka. Pero paki naman ang viewers mo, especially since 60fps ang output ng stream mo. Di ba? Wala naman silang makukuhang benefit dyan. You need to remember that you need to invest in things that will improve the viewer experience. And usually, ibang-iba siya, di ba? From the gaming experience. In fact, for example, yung ilaw dito, that's one way that makes the stream look very nice. Pero pag naglalaro ako dito, negative nga to sa gaming experience ko kasi ang init. Kailangan ko lakasan yung fan or aircon. Diba? Para makastream ako comfortably. Importante ito to remember kasi kahit maganda yung gameplay mo or medyo magaling ka, if they can't see you or ang pangit ng naririnig nila, aalis din ang viewers mo. Promise, aalis sila. Before kasi tayo magpatuloy, gusto ko lang kasi magpatikim ng konting reality. If you want to be a serious streamer, you really need to invest. Pero kung gusto mo lang magstream sa friends mo at wala kang plano kumita at lumaki, then you really don't have to invest anything. Pero you have to invest talaga guys if you want to be a serious streamer. So balik tayo sa tanong, Boris Norkla, ano ba yung necessary gear para maging serious streamer ako? So let's go through each one by one. The first thing that you need is a PC. Kahit mobile streamer ka, I really recommend a PC so that you can interact with your viewers effectively and quality yung stream na inilalabas mo. For me, I think okay ka na when you're building a PC for a graphics card na 1660 Ti. Huwag ka lang bababa sa non-Ti. At saka yung Ryzen 3500X na 8K na may 4 cores at saka 8 threads. You may you also want to invest in an Elgato capture card if you wanna capture your cell phone. Pero pwede ka naman rin gumamit ng software tulad ng Visor so that you can mirror your cell phone onto your PC. The second thing that you need is a microphone. And the microphone is super important because it's the primary way that you will be interacting with your viewers. Pwedeng pwede ka magka-stream na walang face cam pero may microphone. Pero hindi ka pwedeng magka-stream na walang microphone pero may face cam. We Weird yon. By the way, if you're using the BM800 and wala kang phantom power or audio interface, I made a video linked down in the description so that you can actually turn it into a DJ mic for free. Okay, let's continue. The next thing na kailangan is a camera. I'd recommend either buying a Logitech Brio or C922 or to use your phone. But ang recommend ko talaga is to use your phone camera. Ang dahilan kasi dito is that yung mga webcam manufacturers tulad ni Logitech, konti lang yung innovation na ginawa nila over 
over the past few years. Mas marami pang naging innovation yung sa camera ng mga cellphone versus the webcams. Once you have a camera, you need to purchase the lights. Importante ito so that your camera will look very high quality and so that mukha kang artistahin. By the way, I'm shooting this video on a cell phone camera. I'm using the Nova 5T's rear camera for this. But it looks really nice kasi I have really high quality lights. By the way, gumawa rin ako ng tutorial video, link in the description, about how you can make yourself look really good like a pro in under 1,000 pesos. So check that video out if you're interested. You will also need a second monitor. Super importante nito because this is where you monitor your stream and chat with your viewers. Pwede ka naman mag single stream sa simula, pero ang magiging problema dyan is mag altab ka. Sometimes kasi kung nag altab ka, mag-freeze yung game dun sa stream habang nagbabasa ka. Eh kung mabagal ka magbasa, kukuha naman yung viewers mo, pangit ng experience. And minsan din, there might be side effects from a software perspective na biglang magahang yung software mo, etc. etc. Kung may ball monitor ka kasi, sobrang dali, tingin ka lang dun, tapos makaka-interact ka na. Sobrang interactive talaga ng stream mo kung may second monitor ka. Now, if kompleto na yung gear mo, meron ka ng matinong PC, meron ka ng magandang microphone, meron ka ng camera, may lights ka na, may second monitor ka na, you may want to invest in things called quality of life investments or yung gear tulad ng Elgato Stream Deck that I use. Okay, so clear na tayo on the gear that you need to have to be a serious streamer. If you remember na yung two principles natin, medyo nga kailangan yung mag-invest and then a lot of these things actually don't really improve your gaming experience. So ito na, nag-isip ka na at saka seryoso ka na, ready ka na to commit to becoming a serious streamer by investing in gear. Ano yung step-by-step -step na upgrade path? So ito yung recommendation ko. Again, start with a good PC. The next thing that you should buy is a cheap but quality mic. The next thing that you should buy would be the face cam and lights. After that, you should get a second monitor. Then after that, buy a good mic, like a really good mic, and then buy quality of life stuff. Okay, so ganun lang siya. Paulit-ulit siya. Pag nakuha mo na yung isang chain, pwede ka na uli bumalik and upgrade your PC and then upgrade your mic, etc. etc. So paikot-ikot lang siya. Step by step mo siyang gagawin. Now, ano yung mga recommendations ko? Yung sa PC, I mentioned that for the CPU, I recommend the Ryzen 5 3500X. For the video card, kailangan GTX 1660Ti at minimum. For the microphone, I would recommend the BM800 as it is. Gamitin nyo na lang yung tutorial ko to make it sound better. But I would recommend that you also in invest in an audio interface like the Scenix Q502 USB. Now, after that, make sure you put a face cam. So, if you have a phone already or an older phone, use that instead of a webcam. Pero ang masasabi ko talaga is that isabay mo, halos isabay nyo na yung webcam. Huwag nyong hintayin na multiple streams na mangyari before you put the lights. Kasi sayang naman eh. Usually kasi ginagawa ko when there's a new gear, kinahype ko yan. Diba? Kung ano bagong lights, ganyan, or bagong camera, ganda. Para at least, may dahilan sila to look at your stream kasi maganda yung production quality and if you already have that camera and the lights you need to get a second monitor and obviously after the second monitor pwede ka na mag-invest sa talagang magandang mic and the reason why I'm telling you guys to invest in a better mic is that iba talaga siya eh pag narinig mo siya pag pumasok ka sabi mo ganda ng boses ganda ng mixing there's something about it eh mas gagwapo ka promise mas gagwapo ka than if you bought a better camera and after that since pretty much kompleto na yung gear mo pwede ka na bumili ng stream deck things like that to make sure that yung workflow mo is optimized so yun yun ang very important. Now, if you follow yung steps na to, step by step, you're able to improve your stream drastically. Now, does it mean that if you have good gear, maganda yung setup mo, malinis tignan, gaganda ba yung stream mo? At saka, gaganda ba yung content and dadami ba yung followers nyo? Oops! Not necessarily. Sasagutin ko yun sa next video ko. And what it takes to be able to build great content and develop yourself as a streamer. Once again, this is Norkla. Thank you guys for hanging out. I'm super happy to tell you about my thoughts on upgrading and gear. By the way, follow me at fb.gg slash norklagaming and also help me get to 100 subscribers by subscribing on this channel and hitting that notification bell. My name's Norkla. Peace out.